So this is combat roll wallow we're heading towards. Kev is taking me on a tour of sorry I'm out of breath. You can see where we came from. Doesn't look as steep on the film, but there's the road up. Hiking up. Anyway, we have this conifer that's been the top of one that's been plucked off, broken, placed right here in the way of the trail. And then we notice that the type of needle it is it isn't even the type that's around here. So it's a completely different um, type, it appears. <laughs> anyway, it's just pretty fresh. Yeah, I've only seen it like one other place. I was hiking somewhere with my cousin and yeah, they uh, had a completely different type of pine tree placed on a, above some other types. Anyway. Yeah, let's see what else is up here in Combat Little Walla. Okay, so we've arrived at, oh, I'm trying to think what it's called again. Combat Little Walla. Thank you. So we've arrived at Combat Roll Wallow. And there's a funny story behind that name. Um, maybe I'll link to a video with Kevin explaining that. Uh, he and Rio. But uh, here's one of the structures over here. You can see some over that way, over this way. And it's just kind of a flat area that's perched up on a kind of a. Um, so there's. It keeps going up that way. Look, there's a big X right there. And then it goes down, you know, the steep area where we were at. So there's kind of a shelf here. Anyway, I'll just uh, have a look around and maybe I'll, won't say much. I'll just let it speak for itself and comment here and there. So you can see all of the, how it's been Everything's been laid on here. If you look at it closely, it almost has a star or asterisk type um, pattern right there, see? It's not just laid across straight. Here's the other view. Nice uh, spring day. It's actually uh, about perfect temperature up here for hiking. It's kind of interesting how they uh, got some of those up in that crook there. Right there. But they're using these really big timbers here and then just laying everything on top and around it. It's weird, it seemed like it shut off on its own. Anyway, you can see a lot of timber to work with around here. Let's see if I can get over to the other stuff. It almost looks like this could have been a structure at one time or they could use all the gathered material for it. One. I think we're going to go back this way. So there is the structure I just showed. And over here we got this stuff. You can see all of this is just too much to be natural. And I'm not sure how humans would go about making this. And my video doesn't do that much justice to it. I need a wider field of view really. I go through here. Okay, you have all this up here. 
kind of cross between a structure and a blind, really. We have all this over here. Right there. And this here. Some leans over this way. And where was that X? Here's the X right here. Right there. Close up of it. And you can see it's pushed up to this tree right here. It's not even <coughs> overlapping. It's just uh, the pressure is uh, shoved up to that tree right there on the X. And you can hear Kev in the background. There's a nice view with the light on the leans. You go way up there. And that's all for the moment. Let's see if I can navigate back through here. Kind of a large brown glyph goes that way, it comes down this way to each side, huge X basically. And more so stuff over here. Stuff overarching this way, that way. This one's slung up in the tree right there. And it's uh, not touching the ground, it's instead it's jimmy rigged to stay up like that. <laughs> right in there. We got another one that's up here. Just too much I think to be, I doubt naturally it's just going to wedge itself in there like that and stay up perfectly, <clears throat> just falling off a tree in nature. So little things like that just make you wonder how much is natural, how much is Sasquatch. Oh, there we go. That's the big X. I, you probably can't see it. Let me get closer. Okay. How well you can see it with the sun. Here and that way. There we go. And it's caught in this Y right up here. See, to form the X. From this angle, it looks less like an X, but that's what it is. You can see right there. That forms the X. Just more stuff over here. Interesting uh, configuration, I guess I call them sometimes. Look at this one over here. Is that natural? This combat roll wall is pretty big, actually. Down there, you can see some more stuff. A, that's a huge tree over there. can't back up more to show you the whole thing because there's just too much stuff really. We get a different angle. Too much stuff in the way. Okay. That's a pretty classic structure. It's almost like a territorial marker or something. That's just not quite natural. You would think something like that would just go down the slope like all of these right here but you have this nice fragile thing kind of decorating the side here instead and it looks like Kev's looking at a huge thing down here um, I'll head on down there right now So here's the structure down here I'm going to head on down. Okay, so Kevin and I have switched positions. He's headed up to look at the one I was inspecting, and now I'm headed down to look at the giant one here. I was trying not to fall while I'm filming. Now hopefully not shake too much. I have to cut this out. Shake the video. Logography. Massive lean right there. 
and we got the massive structure that goes up and up and up. And this place is a uh, pretty big. It just keeps going. It's just a little difficult to navigate because there's so much down wood, which a lot of it's you know going to be natural, but. I don't think this is quite natural here. You know, jumbles like this, you think they'd just be on the ground, more like that, not slung up here in an arrangement. Um, videos. Okay. Just a big old thing we have on this side also, and then we have kind of the center right here. I just uh, can't take it all in here. If I had 170 degrees field of view on a action cam, I probably could do it. I'm going to switch to one of those here for everything outside of uh, need, if I have the need to zoom in or low lights or external mic, I'll keep using this. But otherwise, I'm going to switch to an action cam to hopefully bring you some a little bit steadier uh, shots but uh, I don't think the audio is going to be as good on that one though I've been researching about the stabilization is much better so it'll be a trade-off right here it begins here and a little further back and you can see better maybe and it just keeps going onto this side and the center Let's see if I can just the problem is backing up further there's so many obstacles like this to try to get through. Okay, one side, the other side, and the top. Kinda. I don't know, I guess someone could say it's all natural, and, but it just seems kind of intricate. I had to have something like that instead of something like, you know, just littering the floor of the forest. Plenty to work with here, though, for Sasquatch of, of timbers. <coughs> Manipulate or, or leave on the ground. I might leave a mighty canyon so he can't 